Look at this dribbler. <laughs> I'm a software developer. I work for a software company based in Australia and the United States. He's the money maker, but I control where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> We met at a pretty divey bar in Chicago. I feel like it's very important to mention too that this was a karaoke bar. I serenaded her. And it was not love at first sight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It'll be 12 years now, I think, that we've been together. Go, go, go! Back when you first got the job with an Australian company, we were like, that is the coolest thing. Like, maybe one day we can move there. They wanted to have a developer on call across different time zones. And so he came home and he said, my boss, he asked if this would be something that we were interested in. It's like, yes, that's a no-brainer. Of course, we're going to move to Australia. What sound does a cockatoo make? <laughs> is that what there it is. Says? That's a cockatoo. I chose the suburbs of Melbourne. I think that's probably the best area for us as a family. Living in the city itself is just like outrageously expensive. My dream would have been to live in the city, but Nicole did rule that out almost immediately, thinking that it wouldn't be something that was sustainable. We do clash over money all the time. He is like a 12 year old who got their first allowance, and I'm the more practical, reasonable, frugal one. I feel mixed emotions towards leaving. We are very comfortable in Milwaukee, but I'm super excited to be going to Australia, and I'm really hoping that we can find the perfect home for us. From the architecture to the wineries that are nearby, the Mornington Peninsula, I feel like there's an endless amount of things to do in Melbourne and the surrounding areas. I feel invigorated, but I think at the same time, I do feel the weight of keeping both Nicole and Margot happy. With this rental market, it's kind of scary. But hopefully we can find a good one in the right location. The outer suburbs of Melbourne are very much family orientated. There's parks, there's walkways, there's bikeways. You've got pubs, restaurants, shops as well. We're at less than 0.1% vacancy rate outside of the metro of Melbourne, making the rental market highly competitive. Money seems to be a sensitive issue with these guys. If they muck about, they're not gonna get anything. The market is that tight. I'm looking for three bedrooms, room for guests when they come to visit us, and a playroom for Margot mm -hmm. when it's not occupied. On top of that, I am working from home, so I do need a dedicated workspace. Yeah, a place where I can get some peace and quiet and really focus in on my work and get the work done. He makes the money. Yep. And you spend it. But... He earns it, he spends it, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I control where That's it goes. Right. Then is there anything particular that you would like, Nicole? Uh, I'm really looking for a nice bathtub. I like to take a weekly bath to nice. relax, and Margot likes her bubble baths every day. I'm also really looking for something in a walkable community. Mm -hmm. uh, we've only got one car, and I don't particularly like to drive in general. So I'm looking for a place where Margo and I are able to walk to the shops yep. every day. We can walk to the grocery store. We can walk to the playgrounds. So is there a particular style that you like? I'd like some sleek, modern style home, yep. uh, something that's up to date, something that won't break down on me at the end of the day. So you've done a handyman? <laughs> not quite, yeah. No, no. not quite I'd like yet. to pretend to be, though. Okay, yeah. well, that's all right. Yeah. Is there a price in mind that you'd like me to stick with? 1500 a month, um, and I'm pretty pretty firm on that. We can find the perfect house, the house that fits both of our needs and is not going to break down on us. I'm happy to splurge a little bit. I don't like starting fights, but I have a funny feeling I'm going to start some fights today. <laughs> I don't know that if I find them the right home that fits the bill, if I'm going to have to actually ask Nicole to loosen the purse strings. Justin's a little bit easy to please. He's happy to spend more money. And I've got something that's absolutely spectacular. I know they'll love it but it's expensive. Well, if it meets the Lucas standard, then it's, it, it meets the Justin standard. Well, well I like that. Yeah. See, he's sucking up now. Uh, Have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah. We're now heading to the outskirts of town called Berwick to a display home in a display village. Very family orientated. It's about one and a half Ks of shops. Something that's a lot closer to town would be my ideal. Okay. Three bedrooms plus a media room or a home office. Exactly right. Oh, perfect. All right. This is the last one left. Okay. I have sold or rented out all of the others. $1,600 a month. So a little more than we were looking to spend. Uh, I feel like we could wiggle our way up there, though. Want to go take a look? Yeah, let's all do right. it. Let's all do right. it. What do you think? Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah. These are really tall ceilings. I feel like I could chuck Margo up <laughs> as high as I possibly could, yeah. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. But I tell you what, have a look at the main bedroom right behind you. This is a really nice space. I actually really like the style of this place. I like the textures, and I like the color, the sage, that's really pretty. Yeah. Does it come with the furniture? No, this is a display home, so it'll be absolutely empty when you guys move in. Yeah. Okay. I do worry that we have to buy furniture, but that's only gonna add to the price tag. 
First impressions of this house is that I really like it. Nice tall ceilings, really modern, sleek look. Uh, it seems like it fits my personality. And this is a media room? Yeah, well, it's a media room, but I was actually thinking, Justin, perfect home office for you. This man's thought of everything. I have thought of everything. This is nice and spacious. My goodness. Wow. Yeah, that is fantastic. I like the space. This is a lot of room. Why don't you just come over here? Okay. Yeah. Take a seat on the couch, which won't be yours because it doesn't come with the house. Oh, jeez. <sighs> yeah. But you can get a couch okay. like this. Mm. Yeah. I am a little bummed that Lucas brought us to this place because I think it's gorgeous. I love how open it is, but I am just really stuck on that price tag. And I don't love that he raised this guy's hopes and dreams. Do you like shopping? No. No? <laughs> I might have to work a little hard to get Nicole to come around to this, but I don't think it's an impossible task. I've got a couple of bedrooms, so you've got room for people to come and stay. Yeah. And then Margot has her own space as well. This is a oh, nice wow. size, I think. This would be yeah, good for Margot. Absolutely. Nick, what did you tell me? What was one of those things that you wanted to have? I really want a bathtub. You like wanted a, a nice bathtub. I know. Oh Perfect. my goodness. Would you look at this? That is a bathtub. Capital B, I think. <laughs> I think so. It might be a little bit deep putting Margot in the tub. She keeps on bending over, pretending she's holding Margot, and putting pretend Margot in the bath. So, it, yeah, no, it passes the Margot test. Of course it passes the Margot test. I think it passes the Margot test. I am loving this place. Yeah, but no wonder it's so expensive. Justin can't wipe the smile off his face, and he's okay spending that little bit more on the perfect home for them. So I've nailed his brief. With the sun out and a cold winter's day, it's beautiful. Yep. Fully fenced, perfect for Margot. That's uh, checking all the boxes. Honestly, it's got plenty of space for us as a family, Margot to run around. It's got the media room I can use as a home office. And I love that it's absolutely brand new. I do like the house, but we're a little bit far from town, the shops. It's definitely more than we were looking to spend, and we have to furnish the entire house. Yeah. We have to start fresh with everything. That's going to be a lot of money. Nicole might be thinking that I've missed the brief. So the next one is going to be perfect in relation to price. The next one, I think that's going to get a very, very big tick from Nicole. We're heading to Clyde, a newer estate. Modern for Justin. 15 minutes out of Berwick, but there are some little shops around that will suffice. It's not as palatial as we may see in other properties, but Nicole, I think you're going to like it because it's cheap as chips. We call it cheap as fries. <laughs> Do we? Nobody does. <laughs> oh. Here we go. All right. Welcome to Clyde. Okay. All right. We've got three bed, two bath. Okay. Look how close we are to schools and shops. That's okay, nice. yeah. Walking perfect. distance. Perfect. Okay. Nice for you. Plenty of room for Margo to play out here. And what is the price on this one? $1,300. All right, yeah. A month. I do like that. That's. Oh, I thought you would. It's music to my ears. So you want to take a look? I would love to take a look. All right, let's All go. Right. Big door. Okay. This is our living area mm. okay with all these beautiful windows that is really right here let lots of natural light in upstairs three bedrooms and a bath okay all right great so we've got a couple of bedrooms up here that are mirror image yeah. a bit small though huh it's a good size room office you don't need anything much bigger than this but i would like a little bit more space i think i'm not sure where an office would actually fit in this home but it would have to be somewhere in the basement you don't have a basement oh not in the basement sorry the, the first floor there's your bathroom has a bath you know, the bathroom itself seems a little bit small. Yeah, a little um, bit cramped, huh? But I do like the bathtub. Yeah, I think this passes the Margot test. What is with the Margot test? It's a two-year-old. You, you pick, bang, it's in the bath. And this way, we've got plenty of storage mm. and main bedroom. I mean, take a look at that view. Yeah. That is gorgeous. That is really nice. Lots of sunlight in here too, which is nice. Lots of sunlight, no houses across the street, so you get a nice view of the parklands. Okay. I'm looking for something that's sleek, turnkey ready. It just doesn't seem like it really has quality. That makes sense. Yeah. Ouch. I know. Where's the fridge? Uh, you gotta bring your own fridge, mine. Oh, what? I think Justin is under a lot of pressure to keep me and Margot happy. We moved to a whole new country for his job, and I think he really wants things to be perfect. And look at this. Oh, I like that outdoor space. Fully fenced backyard, so good for Margot. 
That is really nice. And I really like with the windows. I feel like I can hang out in the kitchen. I can hang out inside doing what I need to do mm. while Margot plays and I can kind of keep an eye on her. I do really like that bathtub and the location is really nice. I like that right. I can walk. I like that there's footpaths to the shops. And I love that empty park space across the street. Not a whole lot of indoor playing space for Margot, I think. And I really feel like I'd be lacking that space of a home office. I think I'm gonna have to work pretty hard to convince Justin to compromise and go for the cheaper option. I feel like it's the safest bet. What I've got next is a really nice family home right in the heart of Berwick. Nicole will love that. There's also a big surprise for Justin. Let's go, guys. Let's take a look. I am a little bit worried about that road out front. But maybe being a safety issue for Margot? Fully fenced. Mm. OK. OK, now you've got to keep the, the gate closed, of course. And that's on you. That's yeah. not on me. <laughs> but what we have here is three bedrooms. Two bathrooms. I have a home office that you are going to oh, love. Okay. Uh, it's right on the money. Okay. It's fifteen hundred dollars a month. All right, I like it. Love the floorboards. A little too well loved, though. I feel. Oh, listen, this is not a new home, right? It has yeah. been loved and lived in for probably sixty or seventy years. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. It's like one of those Hampton-style modern kitchens that are, you know, quite in at the moment. Maybe put a step stool over here and Margo can help us cook. She does like to cook. Okay. She's practicing her knife skills. <laughs> Two-year-old with knives. Yeah. Don't judge us too harshly, please. <laughs> no, I won't need to judge you. The rest of the world will. <laughs> <laughs> she likes it. We like it. It's the problem. Controlled risk. Yeah. Take a look in your main bedroom. Okay. okay. All right. Not loving the carpet. I feel like Margot would find a way of getting this dirty. One of the things about me is I'm a pretty big, clean, and neat freak. Uh, so one of the things that I don't like about older houses is that they tend to get dirty very quickly. There's dust about, and got to dust it up. So without a, with a new house, I wouldn't have to worry about constantly cleaning. This bedroom and the third bedroom, identical. I like how bright it is. That's really great. This would be a good bedroom for Margot. Again, with the carpet, though, I'm not sure. If we make this into Margot's bedroom, I worry that she'll find a way of just making it dirty somehow. That's on you. That's, yeah. a, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. <laughs> we'll have to get a nice vacuum cleaner. I think, I think we can make it work. It's weird. He's weird. It's really weird. OK, let's take a look at the bathroom. All right. Come on. Oh, wow. This is really nice. I mean, forget about the Margot test. I just want to get in this tub. This looks, yeah. like, this looks so nice. Get in it. Oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. I think it, yeah, I think this is maybe a little bit deep for Margot, but I think this is great for me, and that yeah. kind of overrules everything. We have never lived in a house with like a nice bathtub before, so a relaxing oasis would be so nice. There is one thing that I've still got to show you. Okay. And it's a big one. You know, this time, you know who's going first? Big J. Oh, please. Get down there, mate. It's good. Like, right. This is the room I'm hoping. I feel like I'm opening up. That is the deal. Go on, get in there. Oh, wow, this is a really good space. This is more than enough space for a, a desk, a couch, maybe a guest bed. But I feel like I'm kind of in another continent in here. So I'm going to have to walk all the way around to get inside, to get a glass of water, go to the bathroom. You're kidding me, right? You can have a little uh, composting toilet in the corner. Oh, wow. <laughs> OK, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like his office because it's eight steps away. I thought I've absolutely nailed it. This is exactly what he asked for. I don't get it. It, it makes no sense to me. I love the house. $1,500 a month, that's right on the money right there. Some modern touches for Justin, which is great. Yeah. Um, my biggest concern is just the traffic on the street. I like it, uh, but okay. I'm not sure if I love it. I worry that with an older house comes older everything, and that could just be a real headache for me. Trying to find a house right now in this rental market is stressful, and having these conflicts that we're having makes it difficult. I feel like we're back in Wisconsin. I feel like we're at like a beer garden by the river. I know. I think you might feel like you're in Wisconsin based on the, the deer head there. That could be it. It's a big move. It's a big decision for them to come over here. Justin likes modern, happy to spend a bit more dough. Nicole, she would like to spend less. Who's the boss? I'm not too sure, to be honest. 
First off, let me just say, on my end, I think we could really make that display home work. Three bedrooms, we'll get my home office space, we'll get an amazing outside play area. $1,600, it is very expensive, but I can see the value. It's pretty. Yeah, this is nice open space. Margo could really just get tired running laps around this room. But I'd really feel more comfortable moving to a new country if we were able to keep to our spending goal or even a little bit below it, which we would with the town hall. An extra $200 uh, a month come in handy anywhere. But I really feel like I'd be struggling to find space. That's true. Yeah. Let's talk about the character home. I really like that one. I'm just not sure if I'm OK with that office space. But the location is a little hard to beat. It's only minutes away from the town center. I like the house, but it did seem like it could date itself pretty easily. I think that we could rule out the townhome. It was very small, very cramped, cookie cutter. It is probably safe to rule out the townhome. Play home. That main bed was phenomenal, and I could really see ourselves being happy in that home. The display home, I think, is gorgeous. It has a lot of things I was looking for, too. But I think the location, as well as the price, kind of has me on edge there. We do need to think as a family, and I yeah. think for Margot, that home might be the character home. It's closer to the things that she enjoys. It's closer to the playgrounds. It's closer to the library. It was a lot of personality. I think it was very spacious. I love everything about that house except for that busy road outside. I don't love the office space being so far away from you guys, but I'm inclined to agree with you. I feel like the character home would probably be best for Margo. I mean, it's really smack dab in the middle of the town center. Are we agreed? I think we're agreed. Look at all these roses. You love roses, don't you? Mm-hmm. I bet you there's a whole lot more in this area. Our new life has been full of excitement. It's been a complete joy getting to make our house our home. 